Hi. Mm, can be a jerky. You already know me, so. Who cares? <laughs> um. As you all know, the movie Cyberbully was released last night on Navy Sea Family. I couldn't watch it because I was afraid it might bring back some memories of my past. Um, my past when I was cyberbullied. In 2008, when I wasn't using Facebook, I was using mostly MySpace. And I gotta say that MySpace was definitely uh, the number one place where I, where I was mostly cyberbullied on, where I was mostly picked on. And that a few people have always said mean words about me, like, I'm a fag, that I have no life, that I have no friends, and that I am a totally lonely person. They never said I'm a totally lonely person, they just mostly said I'm mostly a fag. I just want to say to everyone that it's not right to pick on someone, just desirably someone, be just because they're the smaller person and you're the bigger person. I want to send a word and spread it out to everybody that cyberbullying is wrong, no matter what. And... It's sort of hard for me to talk about this because I've, I've, I was being named a few bad words in the past and I don't want to remember that at all because I've learned to just ignore people of what they say about me. Like if they call me a fag, or if they call me gay, or if they call me a loser or a dork, and I learned to my I learned that um, myself through these years that they're all just words to me. They're just I'll just pretend they're just a fly on the wall. And watching Cyberbully made me re made me think why couldn't I stand up to the per to the people who cyber bullied me or just you know overall bullied me in school because I didn't have a voice this is me expressing my voice to all of you that cyber bullying is no matter what the worst thing that could ever happen to a person even on Facebook I was even cyber bullied on Facebook a few times but luckily I've learned the ways of blocking that person if they ever say stuff like that to me ever again. So I'm going to say this right then and now. That cyberbullying is overall wrong. And that you should be the bigger person. And defend yourself. No matter what. Defend yourself from the words that you are given. The names that you are called. For the girls... Who are not stronger than the bigger than the than the ones who, than the other girls who pick on them the most? If they call you a slut, if they call you fat, or if they call you ugly, or if they call you even even if they call you a loser, same thing happens with the guys. I mean the same name, excuse me. That you you really need to ignore what they say about you. This, I'm sorry, this is the first time I ever actually got to have a voice and, and express my opinion on cyberbullying. That I know it's wrong. And I, 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 I got through it. I survived. I'm glad and proud to have had God by my side. To have had God everywhere, to have God everywhere I went. Cyberbullying makes me sick. When I see someone getting picked on, it makes me think, why couldn't I say something about that in, the, in that situation? Why couldn't I defend the person that I could have helped? There's, o there's always some hurtful things that people can say to other people. For example, a friend of mine was 
being called a few names. I won't say his name, but I just thought I'd say to those people who know him, um, like I said, I really can't say his name, but to those people who know the person I'm talking about, people who are on Facebook, uh, I want you to stop what you're doing. Stop what you're doing. Stop saying those hurtful things about other people because you keep thinking you're the bigger person. But you're really not. You're just upset because someone might have hurt you. Well, I'm here to say this. If you're that mad and if you really want to pick on someone, don't do that. Go to someone. Talk to someone. Talk to a per talk to a person. Talk to a family member. Talk to a friend. If you're having these problems, and in and in the end, things will get better. So I'm going to say this right now. To stop all this bullcrap, it's bullcrap. Cyberbullying is definite pure bullcrap. I want people to stop and know that I am a victim of cyberbullying, but I'm a survivor. Nonetheless, I'm happy to still be here and not go on the verge of suicide after the hurtful things people have said about me. So I'm going to say this now and tell you, no matter what, no matter how hard you try to ignore the people, keep on trying. Think of words you could say back to them. Backsass them. Get back at them. They call you a name, you call them a name back. And then, say something else after that. Something confident. Something wise. So I'm going to end this video with a word of wisdom. For, um, wise words from the great Lena Horn. If you don't know who Lena Horn is, Google it. Look it up on Wikipedia. You'll know soon after this, after I tell you these words. These inspiring words I saw appeared on the, appeared on the Oscars. And I didn't know about these words until now. And they get, it made me strong. And it really like gave me confidence to not care what people say about me. So I'm going to say this now. Not waste any time. She said, and I quote, It's not the weight that brings you down. It's the way you carry it. So you carry your pride and be brave and ignore people. People who say stuff, who say mean, awful stuff online. It's online. It's not being said to your face. They're just, you're just scared to say all those awful words to your face. They're not brave enough to actually express their opinion against you. I know that from experience. So, that's all I have to say. And I hope after all of you have, are done watching this video, don't give it a thumbs down. Give it a thumbs up because I'm giving you advice. Because it helps. That's all I have to say. Yep, that's pretty much it. See you later.